Okay, so let's see how we work with Notion. So basically just go to Google, write Notion and get into it, okay? Uh, it's free to use in the beginning. Uh, so let's get into my Notion. So I think the first page you will see is something like that, I guess. What I want you guys to make, um, you know what, before that, let me show you a little bit what I mean when I have documentation. So if I will go here to this big platform I'm planning, and maybe I will talk about in the future, you could see I have different pages, okay? Uh, I have an overview about the platform. If I will go, for example, to the platform structure and to the chat tools or whatever, I will have here a full documentation about my platform. Okay, um, it's really, really, really cool. I can even like put images and stuff like that. So Notion is really powerful tool, really, really powerful tool. You can also make documentations for your clients. Okay, so this is another uh, product I have. It's like a plugin for Unreal Engine and it's actually live. Like I have a website that is based on Notion that is just the documentation. Okay, so it's really cool thing because I, I could have uh, published it in my page and just put it as the, the official documentation. Uh, so Notion is a really powerful tool. Uh, I love, you can also organize with that your tasks and stuff. For example, if I will go here and projects, you can see I have some kind of like a Monday or a Trello kind of board. And inside it, you can have like a lot of details even. So it's really powerful tool. I really love it. So how you actually get started? So basically, I'm going to share with you um, this preset, okay? Maybe it will be another one, but all good. A and if you will go in this preset, when you will open it, it will look like that, to those three dots. Right now, I can't see it, but you guys will see it. You will see you can duplicate the preset, okay? So after you duplicate the preset, you can basically put it in your Notion and just move on and work with it. So I'm going to supply you a Notion template. It's going to be very easy and uh, fun for you actually to work with. So that's about that. And if we want to start fresh new project, how are we going to do it? So first thing we want to make is a new team space. Okay, a team space is like a big, big container for all your pages. So let's just create a new one. I will hit here the three dots. I will hit here a new team space and I will call it clip captions, okay? Sorry, caption. Uh, I will create a new team space. Now it will do its thing. Think a little bit. Okay, and it's created our new team space. Now what we're going to do is take one of our templates that you already duplicated, I hope. And I'm just going to do this thing. I'm going to duplicate the overview page it's really important you will do it to the overview page and not the other pages because the overview page contain all the other pages here. Okay, now that we have the duplicated overview, I can just drag it to our platform. Okay, so really easy. Let's change, rename change the name. And now what I want you guys to do is just, let's delete everything. Great, and now we are going back to our chat GPT and uh, I want to talk about something. As you can see, my browser is a little bit weird because I'm using Opera browser. Yeah, I know it's weird, but apparently Opera is better browser than all the other browsers. Uh, so I'm now going to use a really cool feature, which I can just drag another tab and drag it here. And now I have a split view of both of them. Okay. Um, so if anyone don't understand how I did it, this is how. And I'm going to copy the title and I'm going to copy the whole document and paste here. Okay, so now that we have all the overview of our platform, that's going to, uh, we are going to use it in every sp step now in, in the progress, okay? So after we do that, I want you guys to go to the feature list summary and delete it. And now I want you to exit the canvas view and let's just write. Write me a feature list summary of the platform. Okay, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to populate our documentation document really, really fast based on the existing formats I already supplied you. And based on our uh, document, 
overview document we already made here in ChatGPT. It's really important you do it in the same conversation with ChatGPT because they always take back the history of the same conversation. If I will move on to a new conversation, he won't understand what I'm talking about. He's not that much smart as people think. He using every context he have in the same conversation. This is why when you have a really long conversation, you will see ChatGPT get stuck. So let's copy it, paste it. Let's go through it a little bit. Yeah, good. I, I, I think, yeah, it's good enough. Okay. Now, um, let's make a structure uh, document. Make for me full structure technical document for the platform. Okay. Okay, so basically what this document mean is like, a, it's just like a technical specs, more, more technical kind of document. Uh, you need to be careful with this kind of document. I wouldn't use it for lovable, but it's really good if you are talking with programmers or such and you're planning your system, okay? So let's take that. Okay, let's wait, we'll finish it. Okay, so we actually made a really detailed document. Uh, you can see he actually make already all the database tables and such. We, we have some problems. Uh, he, don't, uh, he think we are going to deploy in Vercel. He think we are going to use different backend. So all good. I'm going to copy that. And please, please go through it and don't just move on. It's really important. Um, let's write it here. Deployment. We act. No, sorry. It, uh, Netlify. We will talk about it later. And Superbase as the backend. Okay, really important. Yeah, all of everything about future you want to remove always. Don't put it. It just will make you problems. And all this conclusion thing also don't put it. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Perfect. We have the structure. Now let's make the UX UI design uh, document. So let me delete what exists here already. And now I will write make a UX UI design document guideline. And uh, sometimes he's doing it in canvas and I don't want, so I write them not in canvas. Okay. So basically we have everything we need here. We have colors, we have fonts, right? It's here. Okay. Really, really cool. It decided everything and it's going to, we're going to use it in lovable. So let's copy that, pass that. And it's that much simple. Okay. You don't need to go hustle more than that. I like it. Perfect. Basically, I think that's it uh, for all the other ones. You don't really need them right now. Okay. It's not necessary. Uh, for now, we are going to use only those three. Um, so great, we finished our documentation, we learned how to use ChatGPT and Notion together, and now we are going to, in the next video, we are going to make the lovable prompts plan before we are actually going to start working in lovable. And uh, we are going to do it also with ChatGPT based on a PDF I supplied you. Let's meet in the next video.